This video will demonstrate how to change the packing gland sealing material on a Genie Direct Drive probe. Once your probe is retracted and safely removed from service, mount it in a vise using the wrench flats on the top of the probe body. Be sure not to use the wrench flats on the packing gland nut. Use the 1 and 3 sixteenths or an adjustable wrench to completely unthread the packing gland nut. Slide the packing gland nut up the threaded probe rack and secure it out of the way with a binder clip. Use the pick tool to remove the remaining packing from the gland. Use a thin clean towel or rag to remove any small pieces of packing or debris from the bottom of the packing gland. Locate the new piece of packing rope from the packing gland seal kit. Install the new packing rope into the gland in a clockwise fashion, gently tapping it down as you go, being careful not to damage the packing. Temporarily remove the binder clip and use your 1 and 3 sixteenths or adjustable wrench to thread the packing gland nut into the gland, using it as a means to drive and form the packing rope into the gland. Only light torque is required for this step. Approximately 5 to 10 foot pounds should be sufficient. Unthread the packing gland nut and use the binder clip to secure it out of your way.
Install one new gasket into the packing gland and gently tap down. Remove the binder clip and tighten the packing gland nut, using it to drive and form the seals into the gland. Note, only light torque is required for this step. Approximately 5 to 10 foot-pounds should be sufficient. Unthread the packing gland nut and use the binder clip to secure it out of your way. Take a second gasket and install it into the packing. Note, be sure to align the slit in the gasket 180 degrees from the previous gasket. Remove the binder clip and tighten the packing gland nut, using it to drive and form the seals into the gland. Unthread the packing gland nut and use the binder clip to secure it out of your way. Repeat this process until the remainder of the gaskets are installed. In this particular case, we are replacing the three standard neoprene seals with six of our J9 RGD resistant seals. These are the normal quantities for these types of seals. This video is shortened due to repetition of the gasket replacement since the procedure is the same for each gasket. Use the torque wrench and 1 and 3 16 inch crow foot to torque the packing gland nut to the value noted in the instructions included in the kit. In this example, we've installed our J9 RGD resistance seals, so we will torque the packing gland nut to 65 foot-pounds. Note, the torque will vary depending on the type of sealing material and the line pressure of the application. Ideally, the probe should now be pressure tested using a non-hazardous gas to verify the success of the seal change. Using the 1 and 3 8 inch wrench, install the probe into the test fixture. Pressurize the probe to the required pressure. Use liquid leak detector to check for leaks around the threads of the packing gland and at the top of the packing gland nut. If leaks are present, use the 1 and 3 16 inch wrench to tighten the packing gland nut until the leak subsides. Depressurize the probe and remove it from the test fixture.
Note, if thread grease is removed upon servicing and needs to be replaced before reinstallation, A-Plus uses Crytox compound GPL206.